Welcome back. CHR treats more than 20,000 people every year in our state, and this year's one in five walk is set for later this month. Here to tell us about that is Heather Gates, who is the president and CEO of CHR. Thanks for being with us this morning. Oh, thank you for having me. I'm delighted to be here. Tell us a little bit first about CHR and the programs, because mm -hmm. you have a lot of them. We do. Um, CHR is a nonprofit organization providing services to meet the needs of individuals who suffer from mental illness, addiction disorders, um, and or trauma. Okay. Uh, we also provide primary care in order to help individuals deal with um, all of their issues because oftentimes folks have uh, both primary care as well as behavioral health challenges. Sure. Um, we believe very strongly that the um, uh, need to address both um, can be done uh, through the uh, health and wellness kinds of activities, right. which is why we think the run is so important. I was going to say, it fits perfectly, huh? It does. And this year we decided to rebrand it um, as one in five, and that's to both reflect the fact that individuals, um, uh, one in five Americans, suffer from mental illness or an addiction disorder, um, and also because you can either walk a mile or you can run 5K or you can do a combination of the two if you want to. Okay. Um, and we really want to encourage people's overall fitness, um, including uh, getting many of the individuals we serve to come participate in the walk and the run. And that one in five number is significant, Heather, because I don't know if everyone would realize how many people this does impact, because sometimes people don't talk about it. Well, that's right, and unfortunately there's been a stigma associated with it for a very long time. Um, interestingly enough, I think the challenge right now with opiate use and what a huge crisis that's become both in our state and the country has brought additional attention to it. Mm -hmm. So individuals and policymakers and communities are talking about it more openly. It. Um, that helps us be able to address um, all the other issues as well and try and encourage people to get treatment because it really does work and it makes a difference for folks. Absolutely. And Heather, if people want to come to the event, when is it? Give us the details. Um, the event is um, starting in East Hartford. It's at uh, Riverfront Recapture um, okay. and it starts on the East Hartford side. Uh, it is May 20th. Uh, we would encourage people to go onto our website, which is chrhealth.org. Okay. Uh, you can make a $100 donation, which will help many of our clients walk. Um, or you can make a donation of any any size mm -hmm. if you'd like. Um, and you can also come and participate. Um, I personally am going to be doing the run. Oh, uh, so uh, it's, if I can do it, it's possible for anyone to do it. <laughs> that's, that's how I think about it. Heather, thanks so much for being with us this morning. We appreciate it. Well, I'm delighted to be here. Thank and, you. And we'll be back after this.